Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And today we're going to talk about a topic I've covered often in the past and um, has some controversy associated with it. And that has everything to do with krill oil supplementation, specifically when compared to traditional fish oil supplementation. Now krill, a little tiny shrimp, it is uh, well known and promoted for being higher in the antioxidant zan uh, asta astaxanthin, it's a little bit of a challenging to pronounce, but it's a carotenoid, it's what gives it that red color, and it's a pretty powerful antioxidant. However, what I always say is if you're relying on your fish oil supplementation for your antioxidants, you probably have bitter, big, there's probably bigger conversations we need to have about your diet. Uh, it's also known that it's in the triglyceride form, generally better absorbed, but ultimately, it always comes back down to the dosage, and that's where I've always had a problem with that. But before I get into that, we're gonna talk about this particular study on krill oil supplementation. And it was done in a group of 94 people, average age, 71 years of age, and they took uh, the krill oil or placebo for six months. And they, these were people that were already actively working out, so they picked, they didn't start working out, they were already working out, and all they did was add the uh, krill oil. Interestingly enough, they used four grams, and in that particular product that they used, that it contained 1,288 milligrams of the actual essential fatty acids. I would argue that that's a pretty good dose. However, the average product on the market, you'd have, or one of the more popular ones on the market, you'd have to take 14 of these a day to get to that level. So keep that in mind. So we're also looking at you know, 100, 100 to $150 a month in krill oil supplementation. So what did they find? That they found that these, they found that the people who were taking the krill oil had greater increases in knee extensor strength, in grip strength, in vastus lateralis uh, size, which is one of the quad muscles. So how is that possible? And it probably has everything to do with calming inflammation, which we know that fish oils or essential fatty acids, the omega-3s, do well. And especially when we're taking decent amounts, like 1,200 milligrams a day, the, it, when we have a lot of inflammation in the body, we, even if we're not attacking anything, if the body thinks we're attacking something, it needs amino acids to form an immunoglobulins, antibodies, to fight off this perceived invader. And it's gonna go for the readily available proteins to break them down to get those amino acids like muscle. So if you can curb inflammation, there's a chance that you can add more muscle mass with nothing else changing. But I go back to the original comment is that this is a lot in the dosage. When krill oil first came out, a lot of the products were in the 30 to 40 to 50 milligram range. Okay, do the math. That's in some cases a serving size to get up to the proper levels of omega-3 fatty acids was almost the bottle per day. It becomes pretty pricey. So remember, this particular study gave the actual omega-3 supplements, or the omega-3 levels, were 1,288, so almost 1,300 milligrams. You have to label shop when you're looking for omega-3 fatty acids because in this particular case, they were taking four grams of capsule However, they were only delivering almost 13, just under 1,300 milligrams of the actual omega-3 fatty acids. Fish oil can get you to those levers, levels much less, uh, which much, with a much lower cost. So keep that in mind. And ultimately, we're still talking about the end outcome. It's, a, it's an omega-3 fatty acid supplementation form. We can argue that it's better, but is it three times the cost, four times the cost more uh, better? I don't think so. As always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.